Hi, I'm Catherine from Catherine Wants. And I am Chef Randy. Basically, we have a channel called Catherine Wants where she wants things, I cook them, and she usually goes, mmm, I like that a lot at the end. So the idea was to create sort of an oasis because the house is built around it. The backyard was very interesting. It sort of sloped up to this back corner here. There was a gigantic Japanese chestnut tree in the middle, which grew these gigantic, what looked like spike balls, and they would drop and they would really hurt your feet. It was all unistone and there were some raised garden beds. It's a bit mazy. Overgrown. Overgrown. Yeah. So in the spring of 2020, Randy and I kind of had some fun out here and we just dug everything up and then I confessed to him that I wanted a pool and here we are. I've always wanted a pool and that's sort of the focal point here and of course Having an outdoor kitchen is very practical for us. We can shoot out here all season long during the spring, summer, and fall, and we absolutely love it. Lots of entertaining. Lots of entertaining. Yeah, we've got a lot of freeloading friends. <laughs> Some of the must-have elements we needed for this outdoor kitchen was a big island. Chefs always love our islands, but this one is on wheels, and we can move it around so we want to entertain closer to the pool. It's kind of like our walk-in buddy or just something you can lean on, you know? And then I always have to have a big sink, so we got an American Standard, the biggest sink you can possibly find. You can wash your toddler off inside of there, or you can like stack it full of ice and beer and just use it as a cooler. Other elements we needed in the outdoor kitchen, of course, was a lot of cabinets underneath and in the back bar, refrigeration, pizza oven, and of course, a barbecue. The color scheme here, the jumping off point was our beautiful sort of mid-century ranch bungalow. It's white brick with black features, big black roof, and so it just seemed fitting to go with black and white. We have this beautiful Cambria installed, the big bold black vein through it, and we just absolutely love it. Just kind of flows the inside to the out. There's a big difference. There's pavilions, pergolas, and gazebos. Yes. But this is a pavilion, basically it's open and we were just gonna buy something from like a store but they weren't large enough and then we went down that roll of getting it made and so we're like, if we're gonna make it, we're gonna make it really big. So it's 16 by 30. So it's nice, if it's raining, we can just chill out and we still can be in our kitchen and cooking and it's kind of romantic. Yeah. My intention was to maybe put a TV there so we could hang out in the evenings, in the summer and watch movies. But right now it's just sort of hang out, dry off after you get out of the pool. The kids hang out and eat snacks. It's a big space, so we needed to find things that were big scale, so they didn't look like, you know, little toy furniture out here, and bring some of the wood tones in as well. And I love that I finally found a place for the marble chessboard. We have this beautiful fire table from Napoleon, which is amazing. Like, we have done s'mores on there. S'more party. Keep this warm on the colder nights. Yeah. We really splurged on this island and the kitchen, of course, and PC really allowed us to save and bring in some beautiful furnishings for the dining space and also some lounge areas that we have sort of sprawled around. And they're gorgeous, like they're rope and they're a natural color and they're very durable. So now that it's all done, I gotta tell you first off, I wasn't into the pool and then the pool came and I was like, I get it now, but now we need the outdoor kitchen, we need this, I and mean, it's just been growing from there. But we absolutely love entertaining out here and we love firing up that wood-fired pizza oven. It's always like family service and big, big portions. I spend most of my time out here sort of floating in the pool, watering the flowers, relaxing. And I have to say, I'm shocked because everything we need is right here with the pizza oven. Like, we rarely use the indoor kitchen anymore. So, yeah. We can basically live out here. We could, yeah, we could. Yeah.